Today we'll be playing the game Linear Telestrations. In this mathematical game, players in 6th through 8th grade work together to represent linear equations. The object of this game is to accurately represent linear functions using equations, graphs, and tables, and creatively represent linear functions with problems and context. To, to play this game, you need scrap paper stapled into 5-page booklets, linear telestrations representation cycle cards, a pencil, paper clips, and ugly functions linear cards. This game is played in four member teams. Provide each team at least one linear telestrations representation cycle card. Paperclip one table card inside the first page of each recording booklet for the first round. Paperclip a different type of representation card in each booklet for the second round. Begin round one by handing each player a recording booklet open to a blank page. Each player must look at the representation on the previous page of the recording booklet and draw the next representation in the cycle. The order of the representation cycle is table, then graph, then equation, then problem in context, and back to table. After drawing the representation, flip to the next blank page and pass the recording booklet to the left. Repeat this process until the recording booklet is back to the player who drew the first representation in that booklet. When the booklet is back to the start, look at each representation and check to see if it is correct. Share the representations and how you know they are correct or incorrect with the rest of the team. Play round two with a new set of booklets, beginning with another ugly functions card in each. After playing, think about and share which representation was most challenging to create. What help do you need to feel more comfortable with this representation? Which representation was the easiest to create? What strategies did you use to create a graph? How are the points on the graph related to the table? A variation of playing linear telestrations is to play with less than four players. In this instance, each player creates more than one of the representations. Another variation is to reorder the representation cycle. You may also make this a competitive game. Play in teams. At the end of each round, each booklet that has all four representations correct earns the team one point. Use the instructions link to go to the Regional Math and Science Center website to read the game rules and other variations. Thanks for playing!